We'll send it away from here. Just nothing more to say at this point. We'll give you an update as soon as we can. We'll send it to Susie Culber. Okay, Joe, we're watching just this emotional scene play out in Cincinnati from here in our New York studios. Damar Hamlin, the Pitt grad, 24 years old, administered CPR down, obviously, for an extended period of time. And just to watch the emotion in the players' faces, the fear, I mean, really just terrifying that he was up, collapsed to the ground. And it's one of those things, the hit doesn't look bad, but Boog, I mean, often, like, often that's how it is. It's not necessarily about a big hit, it's about the type of hit. Yeah, so we, we play a violent game, and um, man, you just, you just hate to see it. That's all. I, I, just, I, I just pray for the young man. Pray for his family right now. That's, that's all I can say. All I, all I know how to do right now. Well, when a teammate is down and then the game is expected to resume, how as a player do you gather yourself? Um, I, I've never been in that situation. Um, I don't even know if any of these players are thinking about that right now. I, I think by the look on their faces, they're all concerned um, about their teammate because their teammate on the field is bigger than whatever is going to happen at some point tonight on the field. Uh, the well-being of their teammate is bigger than any whatever the outcome of this game is going to be. So I, I don't think these players are worried. I wouldn't be worried about that. I don't think they're concerned about that. Um, if they have to, I guess they'll figure it out. But the health and well-being of our brother on the field is the most important thing right now. And you, you gather yourself and you focus. You figure out a way to focus. Well, it's chilling to watch chilling. the whole thing. There's no other way to describe it. And you're not used to seeing something like this unfold where an ambulance is on the field. I, I don't recall seeing an ambulance on the field. And to just see this, um, there's prayers all across the NFL community. Everybody's thinking of DeMar Hamlin right now. And that's all we can do is hope and pray that he's okay because it is chilling and scary to watch that entire situation unfold on the field. Everybody gathered around him and everybody praying that this young man is going to be okay. It's just tough, man. It's, it's tough to watch, man. Yes, man, we, we, we come together to play this game and to compete. Um, and like the only rule we have, like we want to walk off and go home to our families after the game, man. And, yeah. And, and to, to see this young man there, man, that's, that's tough. To your point, Bug, the teams are going to be given as much time as they need to gather themselves to be able to resume playing. And DeMar Hamlin was given oxygen as he was being loaded in the ambulance. I mean, of course, throughout the evening, Lisa Salters there on the sideline will keep us posted on his condition. And that will be foremost in our thoughts. That's, that's what everyone in the NFL community will be focused on and thinking about. And uh, we'll take a break, and uh, we'll be back from Cincinnati and New York after this. <laughs> 